what's good everybody welcome back to a brand new video and in this video i'm going to be explaining to y'all my top 10 things that i want in avengers and also this is coming from someone who is generally mainly play, been playing this game for the last since it came out on like september so it's not coming from someone who's just looking from the outside and just sees this game and it just wants to put something in the game this is coming from someone who genuinely has been playing the game and seen some stuff that or like knows some stuff that's going wrong and wants to see some new stuff implemented and i think a lot of stuff that i say can actually be really good and when it's implemented so yeah let's get into this video we interrupt our program to bring you this important message Hey you, can you please like, comment, subscribe to my YouTube, and also follow my Twitch, please, thank you, bye. Alright, so the first thing I want, and the main thing I really want, is PvP. So, basically, I would really think that this game would really benefit after they can start like, fully completing and fully fleshing out the, um, like, the PvE mode, and, like, fully fleshing those out. I think we could really get some good ideas for, like, some PvP modes, and it can also fit with the story, because, spoiler alert, at the end of the game, or the end credit scene, uh, Scientist Supreme says, uh, talks about cloning. So, basically, they can kind of implement that, where, like, the Avengers are being cloned, and then you guys are playing as clones, going up against like the Avengers, one team is the Avengers, one team is the clones, and that can explain how there's multiple Avengers versing each other. And I think there could be some really good game modes like Search and Destroy, there could maybe like a 4v4 mode or something, like, or like maybe like a full team mode or something. Like I think it could be really good and it also gives another layer on your uh, gear because um, it's also really good to have gear like if you want to shock players to help your teammate out or whatever. So. I think that could be a really good idea, then let's get into the next one. So the next idea I have is for a mode, and it's basically going to be based off of the zombies modes in previous Call of Duty games. So think about this, you drop down as your Avenger, and you start out at 1 power level or 0 power level, and over time, after you kill enemies, you will get gear, and you can it'll basically be increased power and you can upgrade your weapons over time and upgrade your gear and buy more perks with some sort of currency they can have in the mode and basically you keep playing against waves of enemies that progressively get harder over time and i think that could be a really good idea taking the zombie style from call of duty where you kill zombies you can upgrade perks upgrade your weapons with currency and then you can just keep going up the levels and also it could be really fun and keep people invested in the game for multiple hours and I think they can have some dynamic maps in there that can be really fun to play. Alright, let's get to the third one. Alright, so this is an improvement on something that they already have in the game. And I basically just want more original comic book costumes. Because most of the costumes that are in the manga place right now are just recolors or just kind of changed up versions of the already costumes they have in the game. And like I think that there's a lot of potential with the marketplace and the costumes because there's a lot of good costumes from the comics that would be insane to put in the game. And also people have been begging for like MCU costumes comic or movie costumes as well. Like you could put the um, Endgame uh, suit for um, Iron Man or you could put like the um, Captain America First Avenger suit in for Captain America or Hulk he can have his um he can have some suit from a movie or something like there's a lot of good ideas and stuff and also they also need to have more original models than recolors because recolors are cool but i think that more people will be leaning towards oh this is a new model a new skin instead of just a recolor so i think that's one thing that they can improve on in the game so one thing that is a small change is basically I just want bright the game to be brighter because the game it's kind of dark and one of the um, camera modes in the camera mode one camera filter is vivid and it basically brightens up the game or has brighter colors and I think that that would work very well instead of this kind of toned down deafened color because I, I could see that a lot that it's very deafened and the color is kind of like low and i would like it if the colors were brighter to like i don't know because like it makes it have a better atmosphere than just like it kind of is like kind of like a dark game so i like it to be a little bit more brighter that's just that's just personally me i think that the game would look better in a like with more brighter colors than this this darkened color scheme i don't know that's personally just me 
Alright, so the fifth thing I have on my list is new locations and level designs. I already know that they're going to be doing new locations with every single character that comes out, I believe, but I'm mostly here talking about the level designs because most of the level designs in the missions we have right now are just the characters going inside of a name facility or already being in a name facility and beating up dudes in hallways and rooms. And I'm not gonna lie, it, you can lie if you play this game, it gets boring over time. I like it when it's the open world missions where you're wide out in the open, you're out in the city, beating dudes up, getting to go on mountaintops, getting to go on rooftops, and be and just having fun like that. That's personally more fun to me than being cramped inside of a, a super small hallway space and is also not able to fully implement the character's abilities like Hulk's jumping, like Hulk can't jump inside of a hallway. So it's better if you just put people outside with a more open sandbox area to do more stuff and it's just way more fun in my personal opinion to be outside so i think that they should do that what they should, should like basically change up the missions that they add for for the previous ones they basically make it all outdoors because it's kind of weird to have it where you're like it's a forest area and you're inside of an aim facility 95 percent of the time i would rather be out in the woods out in the trees fighting fighting dudes freaking flying around and stuff i think that i'll personally be way more fun than just being in the aim facility 100 percent of the time all right so this next category is basically just characters i would like to see because i know that there's a lot of characters that have already been leaked that are going to be in the game or hopefully be in the game depending on how this game goes on but if this game goes longer than this year and it keeps going on here's some characters that i would like to see personally something i would like to see is that they branch out away from the avengers characters like if because i believe that they have the rights to almost every single marvel character and if they do, or if they don't, they can maybe try to, because I would like to see X-Men, Fantastic Four, um, Guardians of the Galaxy, like, those characters would be super cool, and some of them don't even have to be, like, completely brand new characters, some of their main attacks and stuff can be copied off of other characters, like, Star-Lord can just basically be an Iron Man clone, but with some, like, grenade abilities and stuff, because he has those type of stuff, or Groot can basically be Kamala Khan, but has some different stuff, because Groot can like we grow limbs and stuff like that and then rocket raccoon can also be a shooter character like and then like x-men like you can also like implement a lot of stuff like x-men and the fantastic four would be really cool fantastic four mr fantastic obviously would be a kamala khan kind of clone character but like they said if they're gonna be able to put um kate bishop and hawkeye in the same game and make them feel like different characters then i think they can definitely add characters from other things and i also want them to branch away a little bit from the avengers characters because i think a lot of people would be like excited if like wolverine was in the game deadpool like those type of characters would be in the game as well that i just want to see those characters okay so the next thing is basically basically about the gear because I believe they are doing a gear 2.0, basically a gear rework. And like some idea I have for the gear is that some of the names for the gear is, I know this is small, but some of the gear names are kind of like weird and generic, like light, weight, spark, pulse, energy, bodysuit. Like I want gear names that are actually cool and interesting. Like some of them are cool and interesting, but most of them are just like these random generic names and i know that's kind of small but i personally would like to see some cool gear names that basically retain to the character and basically makes it more interesting on what uh, gear you get like there could be some like there's i know someone could create some good gear idea names based on character or whatever and stuff i know they have some good ones in there but there's some kind of boring names in there like some like gamma gamma bodysuit or something random like that so that's something i personally would like to see and also i know a lot of people grabbed about this and i also want to see it too i want the gear to kind of change what the character looks like i know that wouldn't make sense with the kind of uh, cosmetic thing that they have but and i know they already kind of do this but like they can also maybe change it up a little bit more like the bodysuit would kind of make your character maybe a little bit more like have like kind of like an armor on or something or it would basically like captain america if he had a shield thingy that gave him gamma basically it would basically make his shield kind of spill out with gamma all the time that would basically change it up make it seem a little bit more interesting 
so that's just my idea on some gear updates. Alright, so the eighth thing I want is basically new dynamic attacks. So what I mean by this is kind of like where in the game right now you can shoot your Iron Man's Unabeam off of Captain America's shield and it can bounce off and do damage to other people. Basically all I want is just dynamic attacks that you can do organically with your friends. Like they could do something where uh, Thor can shoot his lightning at Iron Man and he does a like charged beam or something like that and it does more damage because he's charged with Thor's lightning like from Avengers Endgame. Or they could do something where Hulk grabs Hulk grabs Kamala Khan and they do some sort of move together organically so it's basically something that's really cool really cool and it's really good attention to detail that you could do with your friends and it's just basically changes up the combat as well so that's something that I personally would really like to see all right so the ninth thing I would like to see is a new UI or new user interface because a lot of people have griped and complained about how the UI is a little bit confusing and I could personally see that because the UI is kind of a little bit wonky sometimes the stuff doesn't like register or whatever so a new UI would basically make the game feel more better because the game or the UI is a little bit wonky but it's not that bad if they don't ever change the UI I wouldn't fully be complaining but that's just a small little change that I have all right so the last thing that I would like to be changed is basically that they add new skills challenge card and level expansions over the course of this game's lifespan so um, with the skills I, I think that they said that they were going to upgrade the skills or update the skills over time which I don't remember them saying that but people said that they will add more skills and I think that'll be really cool with like if a character gets added or some random update a character will get a skill that you can unlock and stuff that will basically change their playstyle or basically give them something new to be used and that would be really, really cool. Like, there could be an upgrade for Iron Man that comes out later as an expansion where he's able to use some sort of ability that's given to him by a certain character or something. That would be really cool. And about the challenge card, um, a lot of characters that if you complete their challenge card, you're still able to do their challenges. So I think they are planning on adding more stuff onto the challenge card, like characters that already are in the game. And I think that would be another way to increase their revenue if they wanted to by basically being able to buy an expansion to an existing character's challenge card with another 40 uh, rewards. And that could be pretty cool because, like, I would like it so that after the challenge card is done, so the challenge card never goes away. It's not like a a Fortnite battle pass or whatever it will never go away so I think that'd be really cool that you can expand and basically add more cosmetics in there so that people can still be playing with those characters still trying to do the challenges because after you're done with the challenges there's no point in doing it anymore because there's nothing to earn after you're done with the challenge card and then the last thing is levels so once you get level 50 with a character you're basically done with that character and you basically don't have to you have all the skills and stuff but this is also playing with the skills where basically they could do something like garden warfare 2 where what they do is that you get to level 10 and then you go to like super elite and then you put get to level 10 again and you get to like master and you keep going on there's more ranks and stuff and more ranks they could do that and then give you cosmetics or whatever or units or credits for actually continuing to play with that character and continuing to level them up because uh, I can see that the level bar still goes up even if you're level 50 so they can maybe do something like that where there's like like ranks or you have like rookie and then you go to like elite and then you go to super elite and then you go to like master and then super master and stuff like that that could be really cool with the with the leveling up system all right so that's the 10 things that i would personally like in avengers if you made it to the end of this video uh, i appreciate it this is a different style of video than i usually make i usually just make strictly gaming videos but i'm also trying to make some different stuff on my channel than just gaming videos so if you guys made it to the end of the video i appreciate it and yeah make sure you guys subscribe like and comment go follow my twitch and i'll see you guys in the next video peace